I think the biggest challenge, not just to the festival, but anybody outside on Saturday, the cold and the wind. We haven't seen this cold wind combination since April, May. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's been a long time, and it's going to be a very abrupt and rude change. How rude. So, yes, so what we're looking at right now, fall has fell. It was actually fall about two weeks ago, but we're really going to see that taking impact as we get into Saturday and Saturday night. Looking at conditions across the area, we're watching the cool down being one of the factors. Occasional rain showers, not a washout, but occasional showers. Wind gusts on Saturday near 25 miles an hour. We saw some of those tents out there lock them down and temperatures about 15 degrees below normal we're about 10 degrees 15 degrees above normal the past couple of days and that pendulum again swinging in the other direction showers for the most part the main body of rain almost all the way through central ohio the scattered showers behind that and actually some clearing taking place back toward indianapolis it's going to take the rest of the night for that clearing to get in here so tomorrow morning's temperatures not that bad actually Mainly cloudy skies, a little bit of blue popping in. We're looking at upper 50s and low to mid 60s. Through the day tomorrow, once we see that westerly winds really start to kick in, temperature rising a little bit, but not into the 80s. 67 and breezy by lunchtime, and it will be drying out by 4 p.m. The key, I think, is two things. One, middle part of the afternoon will carry a scattered shower. That's why we're going to go hour by hour right now. And the evening forecast you'll see for football is looking better, too. Midday conditions, a fair amount of sunshine, temperatures upper 60s early afternoon here's a little ribbon of some rain showers 15 maybe 20 minute shower passing on through once that's gone will dry out just in time for your friday evening plans turning colder though 70s 60s and 50s by 10 to 10 30 so your football plans layers are the key windbreaker absolutely it'll be breezy it'll be cooler any hint of a shower early in the afternoon or the evening that'll be gone by kickoff time and then during the game Here's one other major point of emphasis, showing a wind chill forecast for Saturday morning. A few thousand people going down to the shoe for tailgating, etc. It's going to feel like the 30s on Saturday morning. Yes, it's going to be dry to start the day. Tailgaters are going to have to really toughen up 45 degrees. Noon kickoff at 49, halftime at 53, and then finals getting a couple of showers in the end of the game as we get through the second half of the day. And Sunday, the end of the weekend, even colder in the morning and temperatures struggle in the afternoon. Key to the forecast tomorrow, an isolated afternoon shower, dry for first and 10. Saturday, dry to start the day, breezy and colder. Isolated shower in the afternoon may clip the end of the Buckeye game. Sunday 54, that's it. Back in the 60s, we'll gradually warm it up and then cool it right back down again. Next chance of showers moving in late next week. All right, thank you very much.